course, grandparents so badly want to spend time with little ones, but can they do it safely? WBZ's Malika Marshall joins us now with some answers to your questions. And uh, Malika, let's begin with Pete, who on Facebook wrote, I work as a school psychologist and I test kids one-to-one -one in very close quarters. What do I need to stay as safe as possible? Peter, what I would do is make sure that you keep at least six feet distance between you and the child that you're testing. You both should be wearing masks. And then, of course, like we always say, wash your hands afterward. All right. And Jim on Facebook has the next question. He wants to know if people would be at greater risk of getting COVID if they get a flu vaccine because that can weaken their immune systems. That's his question. Jim, if you get a flu vaccine, it is not going to increase your risk of getting COVID. In fact, what it's going to do is actually boost your immune system to help you fight off influenza, which is another virus that we know can make people really, really sick. And I know you hear me say this every single year, but this year in particular, we want everybody to get vaccinated against the flu so that we can protect all of us, not only from influenza, but also from COVID so that we don't overwhelm our hospital systems. That's a good point there. Thank Thank you, Doctor. And Beverly asks, is it possible to have my grandkids ride in the back seat of my car when I'm driving if we're all wearing masks? We do not live in the same house. Good question. So, Beverly, um, you know, I know that you want to be with your grandchildren, and if you really do have to drive them around, I would suggest that you all wear masks. You should keep the windows open to improve air circulation. And it sounds like your grandkids can actually sit in the back seat, which provides a little bit of social distancing. So, I would try to do those things to minimize everybody's risk. And it's also a good reminder because sometimes we see people driving around with their masks on while they're driving, and it looks like they're alone, and we say, Why are they wearing a mask in the car? Sometimes they have little ones <laughs> in the back seat, and they're doing the right thing. Dr. That's Malika. right. We wouldn't, shouldn't be so judgmental. We David. should not be. You know I never am, right? Dr. Malika, thank you so much. We do miss you. You are. And hope to see you soon. Dr. Malika is, of course, offering her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before making any big decisions about your health. If you have a question for Dr. Malika, three ways to reach her. Her email is drmalika at cbs.com. Her Twitter is at Malika Marshall. Or you can message her on Facebook, Dr. Malika mm. Marshall. Paula. Well, David.